are joined today by Dr. Kathleen Franco, a staff psychiatrist with the Cleveland Clinic, who is answering questions on depression during the holidays. Our first question came in from the internet from Sue from Phoenix, Arizona, and she asked, what is the state of the art treatment for depression these days, and do her mom's meds need to be increased during this time of year? State of the art treatment is probably a combination of cognitive behavioral therapy and perhaps, although not necessary, uh, antidepressant medication, or it could be uh, a light box for seasonal affective disorder. A light box might be a great solution to augment whatever else she's doing, whether that's medication or cognitive behavioral therapy. I would recommend that she be reevaluated or have a checkup visit with her physician who could assess, first of all, is her depression getting worse because of the stress? Is her depression getting worse because she has seasonal affective disorder? So a, a reassessment and then determine how much might be seasonal, how much might be just a reoccurrence of um, the other major depression that the individual might have. Dr. Franco, my mom seems to get a little more depressed around the holidays. Um, is this just my imagination or is there some scientific reason for this? No, it's probably not your imagination. Um, many people become more stressed and then more depressed around the holidays. A variety of things can enter in, but certainly what occurs in the environment anywhere from Halloween on begins to cause a great deal of pressure. There's a lot of fantasy that we have about the perfect holiday and what we expect of ourselves or maybe what we think the perfect holiday was like as a child. And perfection, you know, isn't really possible if they're not taking care of their physical needs, if they're not resting or exercising the way they might at other times during the year. They put themselves last, and lo and behold, you end up in that bucket of depression. My mom has depression. Are there certain triggers this time of year that I need to look for? Some of the things that you can look for are irregularities in patterns of sleep. They're overeating excessively or they're not eating much at all and they're losing weight. Poor concentration. You tell your mom something, uh, normally she gets it, but then she asks you again, I'm sorry, I wasn't concentrating, what did you tell me? Other kinds of things that you might see are stress levels and long lists, just kind of affect. Does she enjoy seeing, uh, seeing you and visiting with you and hearing about uh, what's going on with the grandkids, or does she seem sort of not interested and just not as tuned in on that as she normally would? We've had so many bad holidays due to mom's depression. Is it possible that talking about it too much can set her off? Yes. Uh, I, I believe there is that chance. Um, sometimes a person will fall into a sick role and you can actually enable the sick role as opposed to uh, helping them come out of it. And it's very unintentional. You know, you're trying to be supportive, you're trying to be helpful. But if you support the sick role and not the stronger role, then the whole family can get sucked in. Getting the person out, distracting them uh, from falling into that pattern. Maybe pointing out something that they did well, not overdoing it, because they'll read into that and then they may have to pull back farther into the sick role uh, to get that attention. But just kind of saying, you know, I really like the way you put the star on the tree this year, or it made uh, a lot of sense to me that um, you wrote that sweet note uh, to Aunt Susan for the gift that she gave. Just something small, praising them, getting them out, doing something different. Dr. Franco, thank you so much for being with us here on Sherwick.com. Your answers have been very informative. If you'd like more information about depression during the holidays, please visit our website at www.sherwick.com. 